Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a fairly good airplane compared to some other ways. Alright, so first off, you will fold the paper like this. And you want to get as even and equal as possible to make because then it will fly the best. So it should look like that. Then you fold it in like this. So some like I'm sure resembles an airplane, just do that that thing down the middle. Then you fold it in half. Then you just press everything down, get everything into place. The back's a little crooked, but that's fine, or it should be fine. Then you fold it like this. And you have first your airplane. It's crooked, but that should be okay. If you want, you could trim off with tail fins, but that's what makes this airplane unique. And then this is optional. You like to do it, and of course it's a windy day, so everything's going away. You can put staples in, which I saw see can help. And also, then you can use a stable to help weight the airplane to make it fly better. And this was a sort of a one I put together. This is my large airplane. I used a big sheet of paper instead of regular printer paper. Well, and, and I added in tail fins, fins so I can like make it maybe do a loopy loop or I can make it let go down faster. I usually like to keep it like this. This this and I decorate it and stuff to make it look cool. Now what well, I'm gonna be showing you how it hopefully should fly. So this time I'm just gonna be using my airplane because it's built a lot better. The other one ended up a little funny somehow, but I'm gonna show you how to, or not how to, but how well it should fly. And that's how it flies. It's, it hopefully should fly a little better than that, but it depends on how well you're, or how good you're at making paper airplanes. I've made like 20 airplanes trying to get a good design. 